<laughs> right, right. So, here we go. We're going to rock and roll now. Okay, so let me start over, okay? Everything's for a purpose, right? That's it. That's, That's it. it. So, of course, everybody know that is April James is on here. A Sorry, April Jones is on here tonight. Uh, trailblazer of entrepreneurship. I want you once again to know that I'm excited that you are on here. And uh, in fact, there's a lot of people excited that you are on here in the chat section. Uh, people are really moving you on. And, I, and you know, and one thing that I, I do want to say again uh, to this audience, and, 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 and you've been a prime example of that, is the fact that, you know, I like the way you don't go around bragging on yourself. And the reason being is because that's why you are known across the states. That's why you are a trailblazer. And that's why many can learn from you. Because I learned a long time ago, when, you don't, when you're good in what you do and you have a passion in what you do, you don't have to talk about yourself. The people do that for you. So you should take a bow because guess what? You got people that's been contacting me ever since they found out you was coming on this show. <laughs> wow, are you serious? I am serious. I am serious. I am excited. And uh, I'm just going to, we're going to get started on this on this interview, even though we had some technical in, uh, difficulties there. Uh, guess what? Right, that's right. why I got a technical director, because she knows what to do. And she's had years she of experience. Yes, yeah, she knows what she do. Yeah. So yeah. the first thing I want to um, open up with tonight in the fact that you are such a trailblazer uh, as an entrepreneur, if you could just share with the audience how, just kind of bring us from where you actually started feeling and thinking like, you know what? I want to own my own business. So give us a little history on tonight. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all have time to hear this because this it started it started very very young in my life. Okay. You know it started. Um, I was always kind of a different little kid for the most part, and I'm just gonna tell this little story because it's gonna take you to where I'm trying to go. That's okay. Many 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 years ago. Many, many years ago, my mother, this uh -huh. is how the hair game started. Okay. My mother went and had hair extensions put in her hair. Okay. Right? So it was so tight in her hair. I guess that's when the trend started maybe about 30 years ago. Uh-huh. Even, even more before then. Even, you know, you can go back maybe five more years before that. And it was so tight in my mama's hair. Uh-huh. Okay? And she said, Oh Lord, I got to take this out. I, and I looked at it and I, I couldn't have been no more than I'm gonna say 13 years old. Okay. And I said, Mom, I can take that out and, and put it back in your hair. She said, girl, you can't do that. I said, yes, I can. But I was that kid that I would take grass and, and make a design with. Oh. You know, I would take my dog, take it to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Even with, you know, the decorating skills that I have, my room looked better than my parents' room because I was always one. I just love the glitz and the glamour. So it just it was just something that was just kind of inside of me. Uh -huh. But from from that, from doing that, and my mom saying my daughter redid redid my hair and then went to the neighbors. The neighbors like, oh my God, this girl has skills. Yeah. But that's not exactly what I wanted to do as far as a career. Uh -huh. And I, I learned that when I got high school, you know, when I got to high school, you know, everybody wanted to know why you don't do hair, girl, because I did all my friends hair before we, um, mm -hmm. before we, uh, you know, got ready to take our school pictures and all that kind of stuff. I actually wanted to be a fashion designer, Oh, okay. but you know, God had, a, yeah, he had another plan for me. Um, and from, and from there, you know, once I graduated high school, because, you know, you know, I went to Texas city high mm -hmm. and, and, Right at graduation, I got pregnant. So okay. this is for the world here. And the reason I want to start there yes. is because a lot of, you know, a lot of young women think when that happens to them that their life is open. Exactly. I must say that, you know, of course, I had a great support system, mm -hmm. but I had to make my mind up 
that I wanted my my son was my inspiration to keep moving forward. Yes. And I didn't want to throw my kid in a daycare and you know uh, I'm working countless hours and wasn't making enough money. So right then I I start thinking okay, all right they've been telling me I'm good at this hair thing. Mm -hmm. So I decided just you know step out there go to school and just continue can continued that journey. I just got braces in my mouth, so I'm okay. this me if I get a little tired tongue. <laughs> and I, I continued on that journey. I didn't take it as serious as I have, you know, in the last 25 years, of course. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when I first started, it was very profitable for me with, mm -hmm. had, you know, being a single mother, yes. had my child. Yes. I was able, it opened up doors for me to do some of the things that I wanted to do and some of the things I needed to do. You uh -huh. know, not just for me, but for for my child uh -huh. and it just kind of started with humble humble beginnings yes you know mm -hmm. some some of it was free some of it wasn't you know yes. what i'm saying yeah so my advice to um to i'm gonna I'm say young women because i feel like i'm older now uh -huh. if it's something you feel like that you want to do yeah. you need to just step out there because one thing about it Mm -hmm. If you have a purpose in life, and a lot of people got to think about that. You got to think about what is your purpose. And if you don't know it, ask God what your purpose is. Because sometimes yes. it's the simple thing. Mm -hmm. And I say that because I like to miss it. Because I just like doing hair versus mm -hmm. wanting to do it as a, a career. Mm -hmm. But that was, that was my blessing. That was my gift from God. And it, it had to be a gift from God for me to still be in it. 30 years later yes and i just kind of um added i added the boutique thing on um back in 2009 okay and really the rest is just history god is good i'm mm -hmm. passionate about the um the fashion industry the mm -hmm. hair industry and i just kept moving i just kept moving forward but i will say you know i wish i knew the business part of it from mm -hmm. the beginning go ahead i didn't Okay. And I can truly tell people now, you know, with social media, there's so much information out there that you can get for free. Yes. You don't always have to pay for it. And it was, it's, it's just been a, um, it's really been a true, true blessing for me yes. throughout this journey of entrepreneurship and uh -huh. entrepreneurship is, I, I won't tell anybody that it's easy. It's not easy, but yes. you have to be determined. Okay. You okay. have to be determined to to want it mm -hmm. and and basically that's what i did it was just a passion um i was driven and you have to always kind of surround yourself around people that's like-minded like you are okay and because the thing about it you have to be a visionary to even see the vision all right you see what i'm saying uh -huh. you have to have a vision to see where you going? Like I can see that I can see it right there, but what do I need to do to get to it? Yeah. And a lot of us, you know, that a lot of youngsters right now, and I don't know how many young people is on this call, but it's not a such thing as just instant gratification. Because anything that you want in life, you got to work hard. You got to give it some thought. You got to pray about it first. Yeah. That's the number one thing. Let let yeah. me let me start all over. Come on. You have to put God in front of everything you do yeah all things you do uh -huh. if you want it to last because so only what we do for christ is gonna last anyway that's it you know that's i don't it. care how uh on top of the world you are uh -huh. if, if god is not in the plan it mm -hmm. ain't no plan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah that's my little that's my little bout on that um i love i love entrepreneurship i love sharing yes. entrepreneurship uh -huh. you know with whoever yeah. Whoever wants to know about it. And it, it and I will tell you this. You have to um you definitely you you definitely got to have a like mind. Okay. You have to have a like mind. And sometimes you have to get uncomfortable. Okay. To elevate. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get uncomfortable because if you comfortable, uh -huh. you can't elevate because guess what? You just going around in a circle. Yeah. But if you get in an uncomfortable position, and I have did this several times, yeah. I got myself in an uncomfortable position uh -huh. to go to the next level. That's the only way you can elevate anyway, especially in mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I heard you when you were saying, and this is so important, so that's why I want to piggyback off of what you said with this 
question that I'm getting ready to pose to you because it's so important because there are younger people looking and watching this interview. And what you said is so inspiring because so very often, and you know, I work in the education system. A lot of times they are not, whether we, we think they are or not, many of them are not being encouraged. So what you said on tonight is it, it's, it's very encouraging because they're getting it from someone who has been where they really want to go. And to hear you share that on tonight with this audience and whoever else may be watching, just not in the chat section, but people watch this across the world. That's one thing about YouTube and, and these podcasts. They never go away and people always go back and get them. And some little girl needs to hear exactly what you just said. And so to just elaborate a little, uh, uh, however you want to, on that, uh, the importance of you being and setting that example as you have moved through life in your years of entrepreneurship what would you say to a group of little girls if you had them in the room and they feel like it's just no hope okay what i would probably say say to a little girl that's looking at me and want to know and and i have the reason i can answer that is because i have had um young women maybe not little girls that come you know from different um schools like the college of the mainland has a uh a cosmetology program and mm -hmm. I have had other uh I have I I know I have inspired a, a lot mm -hmm. of young girls mm -hmm. not even knowing that you inspire them mm -hmm. but what I would tell them that if God did it for me yeah he definitely can do it for you yes. we always got to start there first and and a lot of times I tear the walls down because I let them know I made a lot of mistakes through the journey Good. And it's okay to make mistakes. Good. You just have to learn from your mistakes. Uh -huh. And your mistakes may be making a bad choice. Yeah. Once you make a bad choice, just don't make that choice again. You yeah. you have to learn from your mistakes and you got to, you have to have an open mind. Yes. You have to have an open mind of wanting to be different. Yes. And that's one of my um hashtags. You have to dare to be different. Yes. You have to dare to be different and yes. you have to stay positive. Yes. You know, and it's not it's not easy all the time. Sometimes when we go down and bat and 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 in valleys that's so deep it's hard to see the mountaintop. Uh -huh. But we know the mountaintop is there, especially yeah. if you keep moving, you keep your purpose, you keep your purpose in front of you, your yeah. profit is gonna come. <laughs> Period. You keep yes. that purpose. Uh -huh. Your profit just like I just like I said, it was just a gift to me and that was my purpose purpose that was my gift and guess what mm -hmm. my profit came yes. and it and it keeps coming uh -huh. so i would just inspire a little girl to 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 be who you want to be uh -huh. be who you want to be and keep yourself around like-minded people god-fearing people because you know only what we do for christ is gonna last That's anyway it. so that would be one of the things that uh -huh. i would tell a little girl just uh -huh. and step out on faith you know sometimes Stepping out on faith is is what you have to do yes. to go to the next level in your in your in your life, in your career, mm -hmm. in your relationship, in whatever, whatever you want to do. That's yes. that's exactly my the advice that I would give a young a young woman. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you were saying um about what kept you motivated was your child. And you know, and and if you could just address that for me as well, because the reason why I say this, April, is that we have a lot of young girls who come to the college and they might have just gotten out of high school and they're pregnant or they already have a baby. And, and the thing of it is, is they're so torn down and, and, and I see them uh, uh, behind the, the smile is a lot of tears and, and, and they feel like what am I supposed to do? I had them in my office where they just literally broke down in front, of me, in front of me. But, you know, being a behavioral analyst and years of psychology work, you know, when I say work, academic side of it, to get to mm -hmm. where I am, you know, right now, uh, I too have those experiences and those times when I felt like, I was pregnant when I came out of high school and 
what happens is people do put a stigma on you. And so I'm saying, again, a, a question I'm posing to you right now, what would you say? Because we get ready to have some young, young girls that come out of school and, they, and they're coming out pregnant or they're in relationships that they're just, they just really don't know which way to go. I want you to talk to that audience. Okay, well, I was that I was that girl, you know. I came out of high school. Um, I was pregnant, and and matter of fact, I was I was pregnant from a white man. So mm -hmm. I, I'm sure, uh, you know, not all people know that. Yeah. And um, initially, it was it was hard. Initially, mm -hmm. I won't tell a young woman that that's not hard. But what I can tell you is that to be encouraged because. For me to take the steps that I took in my life, every time I looked at my son, he was he was my reason to stay motivated. Yes. He was my reason to yes. um, to be careful. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't bring all kind of people around my around my child. Yeah. So I would just tell them, you know, stay motivated, stay encouraged, mm -hmm. um, stay around people that's like minded. You know, stay in stay stay within your Christian base because yes. that helped me a lot. And I could just I could just speak from that perspective for me. Uh -huh. I had, you know, I had the praying grandmother, uh -huh. you know, I had the praying parents, uh -huh. but then I had to be careful about the friends that, that I had and the people that I was surrounding myself around because uh -huh. I, it took me out of that, um, it took me out of that uh, mold of my my single girlfriends into a parenthood, you know, uh -huh. now I'm a parent. Yes. So now I can't think like them. I can't be irresponsible the way they're, you know, what you know where they could be irresponsible right. i had to always think about and that was just the thing i always thought about what was the best thing for my child yes and don't think that you cannot be successful if you have a child that's absolutely not yes. true i have my son is 35 years old he's a college graduate uh -huh. you know yes and he's doing he's doing great in life so don't yeah. think that you can't be encouraged so yes. i encourage all young women that have be a good parent. Yes. God expects us to be a good parent. Yes. And if you if you keep your house in order, yeah, you can move forward. Yes. You can't be scrambled up. You can't be redirected from from whoever that person is you had a baby with, especially if it's not your husband. If it's if it's toxic, you need to take off running. Yes. But one thing for sure, and both of us know that a baby yes. is a blessing. Yes. It's not a curse. Yes. And so many times our black women think babies are cursed because they had them had the baby at a certain time but yeah. that's a seed that's been planted in us long time ago yes. and that's not true yeah that's not true our babies are our blessings mm -hmm. and i will tell you again honey be encouraged yes. your baby is to me your baby is your way out yeah your baby is your fight uh -huh. every time you look at that child you know you had mm -hmm. to be determined mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's what that's what my boy did for me. He kept me determined. Yes. He kept me wanting to be a, a, a good parent, although I was a single parent at the time. But I mm -hmm. still want to be the best mother that I could be to him. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. And I found myself to, you know, I was a single parent. So I know what you're talking about with that drive. Only difference between me is that my mom had already passed. So she never saw my daughter. But my family, thank God, I can hear what you are saying. And many people, when we get to that chat, chat section, when I start reading all things, uh, viewers comments in the chat section on here, you're going to find what you're saying is, is, is just wowing a lot of people because so very often we have things on the inside that we just, we need to purge them out. And that's what I hear you saying. Purge that stuff out. Don't take yeah, so much. Let it go. All that stuff people want to put on the inside of you. I'm just giving back to you what I'm hearing you saying to myself and this audience. And, you know, another thing about it, the fact like you were saying that, you know, your father, the, the, the father of your child was of another ethnicity, which was white. But the fact of the matter is that that don't make your child no different than anybody else's. And because you started out early with him, letting him know, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm, I, I'm gonna do what I gotta do for my child. And like mm -hmm. I said, you had a wonderful support system 
and, uh, and, and, and I'm going to kind of move into that with your support system uh, because I, you come from a, a, a lineage of people who have been uh, business owners, right? And, and done some magnificent oh, absolutely. things. So uh, if you want to just yeah. kind of share that with our audience on tonight, because everything has a history to it. Everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. My um my mom's mother and and my grandfather, they owned a cafe. So okay. many years of that. You know, I, don't, I never uh, knew the name of that cafe. I'm going to have to ask my mama. Okay. But yeah, uh, my grandmother uh, on my mom's side, she owned a cafe. So you know why my mother loved to cook. Yes. And my yes. grandmother on my father's side was a hairstylist. So okay. you know why I like to do hair. <laughs> so yeah, we have... Uh, Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And of course, you know, my father, Sonny James, he broke down many, many barriers, many, um, you know, many uh, laws, you know, where yeah. they were trying to keep, you know, black people from being who who we rightfully could be anyway. My yeah. father was yeah. the first black um, constable in Galveston County. My father yes. was the first black um, JP judge yeah. for over 20 something years. So. Yes. As far as being um, uh, an entrepreneur or somebody with drive, I had great examples of. Yes. I had very, I had great examples of just moving forward. I uh, really did. So mm -hmm. it was no room for, you know, uh, a give up attitude or you know failure. It was no room for that. On top of that, my mother was just an amazing mother, and she yeah. was young too, and she had me. Uh -huh. My mom was just. She was a mother, you know, so yeah. all of that count, you know, and yes. some people are not that fortunate to have what I, what I did have in my, in my situation, which I would call my dark areas in my life. Yes. But you still have to be encouraged because yes. at the end of the day, you have to make that decision that you want to do something with your life, that you want to live your life with a purpose. Yes. And sometimes that's just the hardest thing to do when there's so many clouds that's above you and you can't see the forest for the tree. Yes. But again, you know, I say to my young women, and then you have some older women that still hadn't got out of that young, you know, that very yes. young mentality, uh -huh. you know, man after man, you know, situation after situation. At some point, you got to step back, take a picture view of your life and what you have going on in your life so you can move forward. Yes. Period. That's that's the, that's what you have to do. Yes. Yes. And that just listening to your discussion about that lineage that you came from to get where you're going now, that where you are now, and you're going to go further because that's what makes you a trailblazer. And you know when we can acknowledge the fact that. But I had a foundation underneath me that would not let me fall, that would not let me give up. And no, people don't always agree with everything that you do, but you, you're you right. You have to stay focused. You have to know what is my purpose? What is my dreams? And you know, and I will say this on tonight, um, and I've said this to, I say this to young women all the time. And, and, and I'm saying it to you as a younger woman than me. Let me tell you, your lives have really caused me to come out of that box because I watch you all just doing things, not just sitting and talking about it, you doing it. And me being an older woman, and I have older women in my life who are also saying, um, Electra, just do it. Just do it. When I got ready yeah. to do the the podcast, some things happened that led up to this. And I was saying, Lord, what do you want me to do? What I mean, I got all of this stuff on the inside of me, and I need to do something with it. And I really was crying. And uh, and I'm sitting on the side of the bed, and through my tears, God answers me and says to me, I need you to talk to the people. I need you to talk to the people. So that's how I came up with the, it's not my podcast, it belongs to God. Because it's a podcast that's connected to a broadcast with a purpose. Yes. And so I get yes, to have I love it. people like you and 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 Janice, Janice Slade, 
she's been on here. Crystal Beard's been on here. My daughter Loretta's been on here. My technical director. My nephew from Colorado uh, been on here. Um, uh, my cousin from Florida. Just like God just taking this thing everywhere. My friend from Dallas. But what I'm saying overall, I'm regurgitating what you said. It's like if you just let go and let God, hey, you're going to be all right. Because... I already gave you a foundation. You just got to walk was your out purpose. on it. Yes. That's it. <laughs> That you, it was your purpose. It was uncomfortable for you, although it was your purpose. And sometimes that's the only way you could, You have to just step out on faith. You yes. just have to do it. Yes. And a lot of time, the enemy, the enemy keeps that big ball inside of us because he knows the greatness that God has, God has already given us yes. to just step out and do it and trust him through the, pro, the, the, the process. process. Uh -huh. It's been many a time that, that I have been asked to speak different places, you know, and uh -huh. For many years, I used to turn down. Now I'm too busy to do it. But you know what I mm -mm. said? I'm going to stop. I'm stopping. I'm stopping right here. It's yeah. starting, you know, because there's so many people that want to have a platform that came. And I have one all the time. Yes. And now I'm able to use it. I'm able to bless people with it. Yes. The same thing with you're doing. And I'm glad mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm so honored to even be a part of this because now I have a voice. I'm able to say, hey, baby, if he did it for me. He'll yes. do it for you. Yes. And all you have to do is take the first step. That's and it. a lot of times people just won't take the first step. So whoever is listening to this, mm -hmm. take the first step. We all have something that God gave us. Yes. Period. Period. We do. Yes. So, yes. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to this <laughs> chat section because I know the people in the okay. chat section say now, I know they saying now, y'all doing all this talking. Let them know what we saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go go check it out. Go, I'll check, go it out. check it out. Okay. So, okay. So we got people um who um are just speaking to you and just letting you know that they're here. Hey. We have Letitia Martin on here. We have Ashley Ramirez on here. We have Crystal Beard on here. We have Moretta on here. We've got Janice Leggett on here. Uh, of hey, course, my, my technical director is on here. Um, let me see. They, they saying some stuff. Okay. Let's go. We got a viewer who says uh, that's basically that's right. That she was agreeing with what you were saying. She was agreeing that 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 you was you know telling the truth. Another viewer says that is true. Uh, and then we have a view, viewer that says support systems make a huge difference. And, and it does. It does. And, and it really does. It does. You want to talk a little bit about on that? Because I think when I see that, <clears throat> when I see that, what I see is when people get in the chat section, they want to hear some more about that. So do you have anything else on that support system, the importance of it, uh, that you kind of want to share a, a little more in detail with us? Um. I, I'm not really sure what more I can share, but what I can say is support systems does help. You know, sometimes pe people don't even have family support. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Sometimes it's friend support. And then sometimes it, there's just groups that you can be a part of. You know, mm -hmm. thank God for the Internet, because mm -hmm. the Internet has uh, lots of groups that you can you can um, become a part of and become a family on there that gives great advice just like what you have going on uh -huh. this is great you know so you can have a platform to share your feelings to step out on you know just to step outside of your box or uh -huh. step outside of whatever is irritating you or if it's something you just want to share with people that's exciting so uh -huh. as far as a support system you got to find out you got to find which system is going to work best for you. It was it was family for me. Yes. You know, it may be another system for someone else. Like I said, it could be, you know, your social media friends. Um, it can be your doctors. It can, you know, you just got to figure out what's your support system and make sure that you have the discernment that it's the right system for you. Okay. It, 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 that, that's just it. You got to make sure it's the right system for you. 
because you don't want to get yourself caught up with taking advice from somebody that that don't even know what you're going through. Yes. Like, why would I go talk to somebody about something um, about marriage and they ain't never been married? You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're right. You're All right. they can do is be, yeah. All a they hindrance. can be is a, a is a listen, yeah, a hindrance or, or just a listening ear. They don't need to give you a lot of advice. How are they gonna give you advice about marriage if you ain't never been married? Yeah. So yeah. those yeah. are things you just really, really um have to think about. I can share this, you know, maybe mm-hmm. someone want to hear it. Like yes. when I had Anthony, and of course Anthony's thirty five years old. His father is um, white. His parents had nothing to do with my child. Okay. And they are sleeping in their grave right now today. And it hurt him more than it hurt me because with him growing, him wanting to, you know, to really connect. But the one great thing I can say, Anthony has a sister. Yeah. Do you know? I'm going to tell this little story because people probably don't want to hear this. Go ahead. This, this sister, his, his sister, her name is Raina. Raina's mother mm-hmm. came to my, uh, came to my salon and basically told me that the, uh, my daughter wants to meet her brother. And I thought that was just really, really awesome that the daughter, she won, she didn't care about, you know, whatever we had going on back in the uh, 80s. Mm-hmm. All she knew is that I want to meet my brother. Uh-huh. And I was open-minded enough because I had forgiven myself for the situation I already had. I had put myself in many, many years ago. And now Anthony and Raina, they came together. Me and the mama, we had to let everything go. Although I didn't know her like that, but her and her and um, you know, the father of my child, they yeah. had been together. And right now today, Raina is a part of our family. She was in my son's wedding, Amen. and it's just like it, it's just like they they was brought up together. But at some point. The the mother the mother had to say okay Rainey you do have a brother she brought her they it, you know they got introduced they've been together ever since so yeah. it's it's just a blessing what yeah. what they thought was gonna be for the enemy because the grandparents never had they never acknowledged him mm. they never had nothing to do with him but look a whole another baby came along yes and now we want we like a big pot of gumbo Cohesive. we basically like a big pot of, yes ma'am. We like a big pot of gumbo. We get we we talk together. We pray together. We laugh together. So that's what awesome. he thought wasn't gonna happen, it did happen. Yeah, that's yes, good. absolutely, it's awesome. That's good. Thank you for that. That story really, and you know, it's a fact. It's a fact. That's a that's a good thing. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, now mm-hmm. we have. Um, let's see. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Mm -hmm. One person says, one of the viewers says, daring to be different. And then another viewer agrees and says, yes. Then another viewer says, so many of us are motivated by our babies. That's making a huge impact, what you said. And then another viewer Mm -hmm. says, our foundation is so important. Having people like April who Aww. are not selfish with their story and knowledge is priceless. Let me read that again for you. Absolutely. Our yes. foundation is so important. Having people like April who are not selfish with their story and knowledge is priceless see that's what i'm telling you you wow. come on here and you tell your own story you tell your story because nobody can tell their story like you and that's why i've been telling you over the times we've been having our set you know talks leading up to this mm-hmm. the way that you are impacting lives people stand off afar and watch you and they say wow. I want to be like her. And you never meet her. You will never meet a lot of people that say, I want to be like April. And I even know your name. I want to be like that lady. I want to walk tall like she walks. I want to speak boldly like she do. I want to be authentic in whatever I do. And I want to be daring because that's what you represent, whether you know it or not. Wow. 
authentic. Thank you. You're thank bold you. Thank you. And you're daring. And there are and so you know many what people I'll, to see. I want to add to April. I'm sorry. I always have to butt in here before we can get off the air. That's just the way I am. But I want to add to that your story is so indicative of women in our day and age. And it doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of people think that only uh, only black girls have this experience or only white girls have this experience. Right. Only right. Asians or Hispanics or only people who've lived in the poor parts of town or only the people who've, you know, been transient all their life or, you know, we make assumptions that there's no way this other people can understand. Right. But if you let yourself share your story, like, like April is sharing your story, you are going to touch so many people's lives and they're going to open their eyes and say, it's not just me. Oh, mm -hmm. right. It's not right. just me. It's not right. just me and my cousin. It's not just my little group. It's not just girls who live on this side of the railroad tracks. It's not just girls who don't have a dad. Or it's not just girls who are raised by their grandmother. It's it's all of us. And right. the only one who can say that we can't do it is ourselves. That's it. Yeah. To say. And, you know, Electra and I were having this exact discussion earlier today. Neither of us believed that we would ever have a master's degree. All we knew is we weren't giving up. We wanted to go to college. Amen. And I don't know how old Electra was when she got her master's degree, but I was 44 when I got mine. I was 42 when I got my bachelor's degree. Um, I was 52. No, See, I'm you know, 42. we... we I'm 42. Hey, I'm 42. Yeah, I was going to say... I take that back. I'm 42. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, wait a minute, Electra. Yeah. But, but, you know, so many times, all we know is that we ourselves are just gung-ho working towards something mm -hmm. and how much it would benefit us to know for somebody to speak out and say, yes, me too, me too, me too. And that's yeah. what you I want to be. That's what you're causing to happen Thank tonight, you April. People, even myself, is saying me too. I didn't think that I could do what I'm doing right now but there were people like my daughter my people like janice people like tina she's gonna be coming on people like danielle jackie and then i'm watching you from afar and then you come on here tonight and you know what you're saying and this is what you're saying whether you know it or not to people you're making people say me too that is so powerful. Crystal is on there. Letitia is on there. And they've been a part of this system, support system for myself and Jackie on this podcast. And they are saying, me too. Can you imagine people across this world tonight because you agreed to come on and take part and allow us to interview you. We can say, hey, me too. True. Yeah. You represent Absolutely. that, whether you know it or not. I want to go get to these before we get off. Some people saying some okay. stuff they really want you to hear. So, uh, okay, Jackie, we got okay. a few minutes, right? Yeah, just a few more. Okay. Uh, it says, um, I remember April as a teen doing everybody's hair and hers. I always <laughs> knew she would be great. That's one viewer. That's, that's, I would tell on her. That's Janice. Yeah. <laughs> I would tell on her. And then another viewer, uh, Moretta, my lady, is saying, okay, yes, just do it. If I don't get started, I can't succeed. Uh, right. Then a question to you is what would you advise? Your advice would be to an entrepreneur starting out but feels as if uh, I have great services but not getting the customers. 
uh, that's Moretta. And then also, how did you market yourself when you first started? Uh, Janice says, yes, it takes a strong drive couple with a support system. And uh, you were blessed to have both. Crystal says, um, right, Jackie, they're talking to you, Jackie. They're saying what you said was right. Uh, and then you, uh, again, April, me too. I'm telling you, me too. That's what you said. And then says, another viewer says, well, I can emphasize with April about the paternal family rejection. I had that same situation, but that sometimes fosters stamina and determination. So I was trying to get through the chat, chat session, chat section, but um, you heard what I was saying when Moretta was asking that question. She's got all the services, but she's not getting the customer base. And what does she do to market it? Tell her, tell her that she needs to use the power of the internet. And sometimes you have to, for me, I was my own walking billboard. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I ate bread and slept what, what I believed in. I believed in my hair passion. And then, into, and I didn't get a chance to say this, but in 2009, mm -hmm. I decided to, um, actually this, this needs to be said. Okay. In 2009, okay. how, Queen, how Queen's Attic came about. I worked in, in League City off of Nassau Road One at, um, at a salon. And they had a little boutique that was in front of it. And you know, I would walk past that, that boutique and say, mm, I wouldn't mind owning something like that. But that was my own inner thought. And some kind of way, one day, the um, manager of that property came and said, hey, April, are you interested in opening up a boutique? And right then I had to make the decision. And I wasn't in a financial situation to do it at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But that's when your faith walks. That's when you, you, you take a leap of faith. Uh -huh. I had two kids in college. So whoever's listening to this, I had two kids in college. Uh -huh. And I already had one business and trying to start another business. But when that lady asked me that, I said, yes. I didn't know nothing mm. about opening up what you call a brick and mortar. I knew nothing about that. And I just, um, I used what I could use. I never walked in nobody's boutique. I never stole their ideas. I never did none of that. Good. All of my, everything that happened, to, it happened with Queen's Attic was all trial and error. And I wasn't afraid to just step out and say, you know what, I'm gonna go to the market center. Went by myself, hopped on a plane, and it was, it, it, it's history after that. And from, it started in 2009 and it's still standing in 2021. Amen. So God is good. That's why I say you, if you're passionate about something that you love, just step out, step out on faith and just take the leap. Because guess what? Nothing beats a failure but a try. All right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you so thank much you. for coming on here. It was a pleasure. In my little eyes, I, could, I couldn't keep up with the chat section. It was moving so fast. But, oh, man, yeah. this was awesome, Jackie, wasn't it? It was awesome. It was. And, and April, you can go in and to the um, YouTube and look at the video and read all the chat yourself later on, too. So, okay. I will do that. Be there. Hey, Jackie, we can need to get you her information. information. We need to get her information. Oh, your information. But go ahead. I didn't me. get it. Um, April, if you could tell me the name of your business. It's Queens Attic. That's Q-U-E-E-N-S Attic, A-T-T-I-C, uh -huh. Boutique. And I also have a beauty salon that's a, that's attached to it. Would the, you tell the, me your email, your web address or email address or how customers yeah. can get in touch with you? Okay, oh, my you. web address is Queens Attic, Queens Attic Boutique com. Okay. I'm located in Lamarck. The uh, address is 15029 Delaney Road, Lamarck. E L A N E Y. Uh huh. Road, Lamarck, Texas, 77568. Uh huh. My phone number is 409 655 5758. 
You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All right. We'll make sure we get all of this information. And I want you to be thinking about something for me, April. Okay. This poor little redheaded uh, white girl. <laughs> I, I had it. a, I had a, I have skin disease. Uh huh. And, um, I ended up with a bald spot on my hair. So the world now knows I have, that's why I keep doing this all the time. <laughs> I have a little bald spot right there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I need a hair expert. So think about me and I'll call you sometime. And okay. And what to do because I've tried everything. And I actually, I had to shave my hair uh, two years ago, oh, a year and a half ago yeah. because of my skin disease. And it, this is where I am mm -hmm. now after mm -hmm. that. So think about me and I'll call you sometime. Okay, okay. ladies. I'm so everybody out there, April's gonna April's gonna be thinking about us all. So. <laughs> right, 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 right. I enjoyed it, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. I'll thank be glad you. to come back anytime. Oh, you thank will you. Be bye. Bye. bye bye. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.